Recurring Themes Have Letter Number 6026 May 25th, 2017 What is on your mind this morning? What peeve do you have? What internal conversation are you having with someone who is not here in the room with you that you can't seem to let go of? You burst forth with what you wish you had said the last time you met. You may rant on and on in your mind like this, the way I see it, you are an incidental uneventful person in my life, yet you think you know all the answers. Because you make a pronouncement that you know me and have pointed out what you see, you think that you are straightening me out. You aren't close. You are not connected to me and what I think and feel. You have no idea who and what I am. You give pop-up answers that are meaningless to me. You skim right over me. You toss me away as if what I think and feel has no value whatsoever to the universe, as if I am in error. Hey, you, this is my life, not yours, so don't pick over my life as if you have a claim over it. How do you presume that your summation has any connection to me at all? I withdraw from you. You no longer count with me either, Mr. Know-it-all. You think that you know everything, and that I know nothing. I am aware that what annoys me to this degree is that I didn't say what was mine to say when the time was right. At that time, I wouldn't have told you off. I simply would have spoken up. I'm tired of your thinking you know more than me and everyone else in the world. What you say means nothing to me now. Nothing. By my not speaking up, I let you get under my skin, and now it won't go away. Beloveds, how vividly you want to remove this feeling that gnaws at you. How many times a day all over the world do my children echo this theme? This doesn't feel good to you at all. For some unknown reason, at the moment, you haven't been able to express yourself. Are you cowed by others? What do you think would happen if you simply said what you felt before what you feel looms so large? Dear ones, by and large in life, people are not seen as they are. People are seen from different colored sunglasses. Others with whom you stifle your response may see life through dots. They see only a pinhole of what is to be seen. They don't see the valleys or the mountains. They are trying to be true to themselves and have no idea of how to be true to you. They mean to be helpful to you and came across as pompous. We might say that this person has a form of dyslexia. He doesn't know how to read people. He doesn't even know that this is something that would be helpful to him if he did learn how to read from other points of view than his own. Alas, he cannot see. And you can't quite speak up. He is fast on the draw, and you are slow. Allow this person to be as he happens to be, and honor yourself enough to be as you happen to be. He is short-sighted. You have a habit of not speaking up. Of course, you know you know and want to nip resentment in the bud. No one but you is responsible for your thoughts. And only you can let go of it. You know this, so be done with it. Recluse yourself from harboring resentment. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org